No, we should actually be singing Congolese songs. Yeah, this thing. What Congolese? What Congolese song? Songs is there? No, no, no. I've got a song. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just come doing on. my granola. <laughs> my my friend is not loud now. Uh, hey. Give it. She's powdering oh. her forehead and she's finding it funny. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's be serious. Right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see, I'm not by myself today. Next I have a very not. beautiful special guest with me. Yes, she's that also a girl. YouTuber. Sorry, my nose is very itchy. Her name is Naomi Lebe. I will no. leave um I'll leave all of her like information and details to her channel below. But anyway, as you can see, oh, I should really put my friend on sign. Today is another tag, and it is the Congolese tag, which Congolese I think, by the way, tag. is the best ever tag ever. Don't you think? Tell them, girl. Don't you think? Tell we girl. agree. So, question number one: Last time you were in Congo, Ooh. I'll say never because. <laughs> This is such a poor start. One thing I can say is that everyone that knows me, I'm so patriotic. Like me, I wave the Congolese flag. Oh, but so I can tell fun. you, I can literally tell you now that I've never been to Congo before, like ever. And I know it's so horrible to say because I speak the language, eat the food, I, I, you know, listen to the music. Girl, I'm so Congolese, and I really want to go. Been to the but place, it's embarrassing. Okay, yeah. I was born there. Um, I came here when I was like eleven. <coughs> 11, mm. yeah, I came when I was 11, so I was born there. I remember when I started secondary school, my gosh. Oh, yeah, because you went, you must have gone straight into Yeah. Secondary. Oh, can I ask a question? Did you have your age changed? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> hey, but even if I did, yeah, why would I be saying it on the camera? That's what she says. <laughs> question number two. Were you born in Congo? So you pretty much answered that already. Yeah. And what part of Congo are you from? Um, Kin. Yeah. Kin's I think country. most people are from, come from Kinshasa. But, um, I grew up in Lokolama. Okay, I don't know where that uh, is. you don't know where that is. Question number three. Do you speak your language? Um, say some words in your language. So, do you speak the language? Obviously. Obvi Hell Obviously. Hell to freaking yes. Obviously. Obviously, I speak the long language. Yeah. Um... Which what is Lingala, by the way. One thing um, I would say is that I've always kind of um, hated, or not hate, because you can't really hate on people that do this, but <clears> people <throat> that don't speak their language, like their home language, I find it really sad, and I think that parents yeah. should, no matter should where you're from, no matter, on your kids. you be Eastern European, you be from bloody Portugal, you be from Africa, you be from wherever, I feel like you should really teach your children Because your having language. to just speak one language is actually quite boring, because you actually can't gossip about anyone. <laughs> I was going to use can't. another point, but... Yeah, go on. I was just going to say... <laughs> you said you can't gossip about anything. But it's true, though. When you're sitting on, like, the bus or something, and just like... You can't do stuff like that, you see? But, um, no, for me, personally, I think it's just a bit of a culture thing. Like, yeah. the whole idea that... You know, that's part of your identity, your culture, of who exactly. you are. And I just feel like it's such a shame when people are like, yeah, I'm from this country. Oh, can you speak your language? language? My parents never taught me. Well, learn, oh, honey. Learn. So should we speak? What should we say then? Well, we kind of spoke already, but, you know, do you want to say something else? Okay, so I speak and then you translate. Mbotinayo. Um, hello. <laughs> like, how are you? Like, you're all right. Um, Osala um, Nini. What do you do? Where do you live? Question number four. Do you like Congolese food and uh, what's your favourite? My favourite Congolese food is chicken with this sauce. So, I love it. Do you want to explain what that is? Oh, Just, like people won't know. Beans and cassava leaves. Yeah. yeah. So we eat something called bondu. A lot of people would know. Like a lot yeah. of people, even if they, oh, they know Congolese, oh they will know what bondu is. So it's basically like cassava leaves, like um, like mushed up and then it's got like vegetables and stuff in it. Um, and that basically just has like white beans added yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes and fish. Me, a lot of my friends will know exactly what my favourite meal is. And what? yes, I love Congolese food. Kwanganantaba. <laughs> Oh, 
if you've never tried that please if you have any Congolese <coughs> friends ask them question number five what do you like the most about the Congolese culture what do you like the most about the Congolese culture uh, I'll say the music, yeah, the dancing, the music, bands, the music bands. bands. I'm so sorry, but I really do, and I say this sincerely, I think that we're the pioneers of music in For Africa. Real. And not even because, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to do it to start an argument out here, but I genuinely I think... I love... Congolese music. Yeah. Everything, Everything about it is so whatever. I just don't like it when it goes on for too long. What about you? What do you like most about the Congolese culture? I don't like I think music for me as well. Like music just bangs. Yeah. I love it. And you know what I also love is like I mean maybe just Africa overall. Like when I was there, it's like your neighbours are literally your family as well. Yeah. Whereas you I know can imagine that. Yeah, it's just so lovely. Oh, Question number six. What's your Congolese name? I don't have that. I don't, we don't like, have that. We're not Nigerians. What's like <laughs> My name is just Naomi, like, Naomi. My parents know me. Say it different, Naomi. That's what I was gonna me, say, Naomi. Me, me, see. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But like, we don't have that kind of like. Oh, you have like fifty different names yeah, by different people. Yeah. Most people have like three, maybe four names. If yeah. You're pushing it. But I do know but, what. Um, because the second part of the question was. So it was, what's your Congolese name and what does it mean? I do know what my name means. Oh no, I was supposed to research my name. She doesn't even know what her name. But means. I know that's from the Bible. Okay. Just That's good know. enough. My name is also from the Bible. Um, it's Jehovah Nissi, so like Jehovah oh. Shalom, Jehovah El Shaddai. Jehovah. Oh, is that song as well? Yeah. Jehovah Nissi. Question <laughs> number seven. What do you hate most about Congo? I don't think necessarily Congo, but maybe Congolese people. Yeah, Congo, like you know, culture, Congolese whatever. people make Congo. I understand being cheap because I'm cheap, but like. <laughs> Congolese people, yeah, listen, I went to like this internet cafe um, the other day and I was there for like 30 minutes. So obviously everyone knows that an internet cafe, if you're there for 30 minutes, you pay 50p. Yeah. So there was like these other Congolese ladies, like they were like mums or whatever, and they were there for two hours. Two hours, oh yeah. Gosh. How are you turning around to try and argue with the person that, you know, that the manager or whatever, trying to tell them that you can give them 50p? <laughs> Oh my days. Yeah, so them being cheap, but then at the same time, they'll go and spend like hundreds and hundreds of pounds on clothes, on, on clothes Louis, hair. Prada, getting their nails done, their hair. It's crazy. I'm so glad that I grew up in a different kind of household. I didn't really grow up in a household where like anyone cares about designer. Mm. And I'm so happy because, um, like, I don't care. I don't ask me. I don't have anything that's like, mm, well, I have a couple. <laughs> but they were given to me. I didn't buy them myself. They were gifts. Okay. Because you were blessed, okay. Yeah, I there were there were gifts, but for myself to go to the shop and buy myself like a Louis something, I just don't. Cause I just don't feel like I'm at that financial place. If I was financially, then and I was, it, it would it mean that my pocket is not like gonna be affected. Exactly. I can just go out and buy it. Cool. They just but love to shop. People love to shop like, but these times they're on crazy. overdraft. So what was the question? I even forgot where it was. What do you yeah, hate most about? Please. I think the thing I hate most is the fact that people are too inner. Obviously, I can't um, stereotype mm. or generally but some Congolese people will just gossip like that's all they live it's on. It's so crazy. It's like, so it's just crazy like... and so sad. And one thing as well, the Congolese community sometimes we don't we don't work as well together yeah. as other communities like Asian community and um, even Nigerian community. They are very good at coming yeah. together and uniting and helping each other to to rise and to get up. And this is an issue that I feel like needs to be discussed because oh, there real. seems to be a deficiency of people just being like, do you know what, my brother, my sister, and it's I'm gonna really help bad. you. It's really bad. They don't have that type of like urge of just wanting to help someone Somebody else, else to get there where they need to be. There's loads of stories that I've heard that I've witnessed really of nice. Congolese people that just don't encourage each other. And it's so sad. And that's one thing that I would, any young Congolese people especially who are watching this yeah. will just encourage you to be the, you know, the anomaly, to be different exactly. and to go away from all those stereotypes. Question number eight, what makes you different from other Congolese people, I'm guessing? I'm just, a, I'm, I would like to say I'm a happy person and like I think that I'm positive in a way, like I like to push people to get where they need to be, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, if you're doing something wrong, I will tell you about it, but I always try my best to find the nicest way possible. Yeah, really? I think I think that's me as well. Yeah. Like, um, a lot of, like we mentioned, a lot of Congolese people have the tendency to either drag people down or yeah. to be quite negative, and I feel like that's like me as well. I will say exactly the same. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very happy, positive person. Yeah. Um, I love seeing other people progress. Oh, like, no, it makes me so amazing. happy. It's because like, wow. I don't have an issue because I'm competing with myself and I'm doing my own thing so when yeah. I see other people progress and do their own thing as well it makes me very very it's happy. like as long as you know in your mind you know that whatever you're doing you're not competing with anyone else yet. I'm telling you you are winning already question number nine what is a ridiculous question you were asked about your culture 
Oh, the one that you said. Which one? What did I say? Um, do you speak Congo? Oh, yeah. What? Even though I kind of understand, like, some people. Yeah. But I mean, you don't go to a Nigerian and say, do you speak Nigeria? Is that do you, you know? You don't go to a Jamaican, away. do you speak Jamaica? Just say, do you know what to even yeah. say? You just say, do you speak what? your language? Yeah. Or what language, or what do, language you do you speak? Don't say, oh, so do you, do speak, you speak Congo? Congo? So question number 10, which is the final question. Who is your favorite Congolese artist? I think we should say this together. Fali Lipupa. Switch that song. What, original? Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think most people would say, you know what? Like, that beard. He is so fun. He just, he just, and obviously his music is well. oh my gosh fair part this is my favorite. Oh, yeah. it made you think that you know if you can do this with the lord yeah then you know like anything is possible basically yeah. but those were our questions yeah. but i think is there anything else that you wanted to but if you are congolese and you want to do a congolese tag a congo tag or whatever go for it literally yeah do it because there's not enough there isn't enough oh i've got a question Mm, before we go, would you ever date a Congolese guy or would you get married to a Congolese guy? Well, I used to say I would never ever ever date a Congolese guy mm. simply because you know, um, you don't really hear good stories about them, the chi and everything, etc. etc. It's hard. They're like Yoruba guys. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Do you know, I will say that loud and clear, but do you know the joke is I'll probably may end up marrying a Yoruba person in Nigeria. That's the joke. <sighs> but Lord Jesus, I really don't want to. <laughs> So who do you want to get married to? I don't know. I don't know. Jesus just I bring don't know. because I'm at the point where I'm just like I really don't know, and it's like whoever comes comes. Okay, think I'm gonna marry this guy. Alright, oh, a boy. Like, you guys are beautiful. No, you guys. You guys are. You guys do you know what it is? Up, but you're amazing. Do you know what it is? There are some but guys, guys who are great. Yeah. But some of them, for me personally, the priorities are all wrong in the sense that. Um, of like your your mentality of like what you want to do in the future where you're going do you have your goals your 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 vision do you know what you want to do I think more Congolese women are like more yeah. go-getters work very hard whereas I'm not saying that Congolese guys don't but, but they're, they're more they're just, of their having fun yeah, and whatever really and I'm not saying they don't have fun but do you know what I mean? That's the only difference that I would say with maybe let's say Nigerian guys because yeah. it Nigerian tends to be Nigerian guys, guys, yeah, guys are like, they like, probably, like they know what they want and you know it's like you want a guy that knows what they want and who they are sometimes like read your books but anyway guys that is the end of the Congolese tag thank you so much so much fun and i'll be back with another video stay beautiful Mwah.